It's one of the biggest, if not the grandest questions in all of science, are we alone in the universe? For centuries, this question has captivated the imaginations of philosophers, astronomers, and curious minds alike. The vast expanse of the cosmos, with its billions of galaxies, each brimming with a multitude of stars and potentially habitable planets, beckons us with its mysteries. Join the cosmic inquiries as we stand at the crossroads of curiosity and science, pondering a question as old as time, is there life out there beyond Earth? I'm sure there's life out there and civilizations out there because, I mean, in the observable universe, which is a small patch of a possibly infinite universe beyond, there are over two trillion galaxies. The real question is how many of them are contactable, how far away do you have to go? It could be that you have to go out of our galaxy to get to another one. Inside our galaxy, with its 400 billion stars, that's the question, what is there? As we delve deeper into the cosmos, the possibility of alien life becomes not just a whimsical notion but a question grounded in scientific plausibility. Consider this, our galaxy, the Milky Way, is home to over 100 billion stars, and recent advances in astronomy have led to the discovery of thousands of exoplanets, many in the habitable zone of their stars. Imagine the diversity of life forms that could exist in these myriad worlds. Life, as an expression of the universe's complexity, might have emerged numerous times in numerous forms across the vast stretches of space. The laws of chemistry and physics are uniform throughout the cosmos, suggesting that the processes that sparked life on Earth could be replicated elsewhere. The sheer age of the universe, nearly 14 billion years, provides an ample temporal canvas for intelligent life to evolve. Our planet is a mere 4.5 billion years old in comparison to older star systems. Civilizations could have risen and flourished, potentially reaching levels of technological advancement far beyond our current capabilities. Yet, this brings us to an intriguing paradox, if the universe teams with life and intelligent beings have had billions of years to evolve and potentially explore the galaxy, why haven't we found definitive evidence of their existence? This enigma confronts us with a puzzling contradiction between high probability and the lack of evidence. So, as we gaze upon the stars and ponder the mysteries of the cosmos, we are left with a compelling question that challenges our understanding of the universe and our place within it, where are all the aliens? There's a thing called the Fermi Paradox, and the point is that, let's take the Milky Way galaxy. There is something like 400 billion stars in the Milky Way, and very recently, we've been discovering planets around every star that we can survey. If there were civilizations out there, and they'd survived, they should have spread across the galaxy by now. The question is why don't we find the artifacts of other civilizations, and the answer is we don't know. Our search for extraterrestrial intelligence leads us to confront the Fermi paradox, the apparent contradiction between the high probability of alien life and the lack of evidence for or contact with such civilizations. Among the many theories proposed to explain this paradox, one stands out for its bold yet intriguing premise, the zoo hypothesis. The zoo hypothesis posits that advanced extraterrestrial civilizations are aware of us and are actively observing Earth, much like zookeepers watch over animals in a zoo. According to this theory, these civilizations have established a sort of galactic quarantine, deliberately avoiding contact with us to allow for natural evolution and socio-cultural development. This hypothesis suggests a universe where intelligent life is plentiful but intentionally discreet. Recently, public interest has been resurgent in the possibility of alien visitation on Earth. This renewed curiosity is fueled by declassified government reports, advancements in astronomical technologies, and the enduring allure of the unknown. I'm very open-minded about the subject. I just haven't seen one scrap of evidence from any reputable source that tells me we've been visited by extraterrestrial beings. Extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. The search for life on Mars is ongoing, but scientists emphasize the need to bring samples back to Earth for thorough examination. The zoo hypothesis not only suggests that we might be under the watchful eyes of extraterrestrial observers but also implies the existence of civilizations so advanced that their capabilities are beyond our current comprehension of the cosmic time scale. If humanity manages to survive for millions of years, transcending our current limitations, what might we become? Millennia from now on, we could be the advanced beings in someone else's zoo hypothesis, guardians of a younger civilization embarking on its journey through the stars. On the other hand, the zoo hypothesis faces its own set of criticisms. If ultra-advanced civilizations truly exist, why remain undetected by our instruments? This absence of evidence challenges the notion of a cosmic zoo, fueling the debate on the existence and nature of an alien civilization millions of years ahead of us. As we stand at the frontier of cosmic discovery, the enigma of extraterrestrial life remains one of the greatest riddles of our time. 
However, this pursuit is more than just a quest for answers, it reflects our profound desire to understand our place in the cosmos. Whether we are alone or part of a grander galactic community, our quest, with each discovery and each hypothesis, brings us closer to understanding the profound mysteries and secrets of this boundless, enigmatic universe. The thought is staggering. Millennia from now on, we could be the advanced beings in someone else's zoo hypothesis, guardians of a younger civilization embarking on its journey through the stars. On the other hand, the zoo hypothesis faces its own set of criticisms. If such ultra-advanced civilizations truly exist, why remain undetected by our instruments? It's reasonable to assume that a civilization a million years ahead of us would possess technology so advanced it would not leave discernible traces. However, such a civilization might also create megastructures or emit energy signatures that should be detectable with our current or near-future technologies. This absence of evidence challenges the notion of a cosmic zoo, fueling the debate on the existence and nature of an alien civilization millions of years ahead of us. Well, let's say a billion years. A billion years is still nothing. You get some civilizations that evolved a billion years before us, why are they not there? Why can't we see them? So then, people start saying, that maybe there's a finite life that all civilizations have. Maybe they destroy themselves. Maybe they don't become spacefaring civilizations. It's Elon Musk's argument when you ask him, why do you want to go to Mars? You can make a very strong argument that we should have seen them. It should be like Star Wars. Where are the aliens? That's one of the Fermi paradox questions. A lot of people have asked me if I've seen any evidence of aliens, and I haven't, which is kind of concerning because then I'd probably prefer at least to have seen some archaeological evidence of aliens. To the best of my knowledge, there is no evidence of any aliens out there. They're very subtle. As we stand at the frontier of cosmic discovery, the enigma of extraterrestrial life remains one of the greatest riddles of our time. However, this pursuit is more than just a quest for answers, it reflects our profound desire to understand our place in the cosmos. Whether we are alone or part of a grander galactic community, our quest, with each discovery and each hypothesis, brings us closer to understanding the profound mysteries and secrets of this boundless, enigmatic universe. Thanks for joining us on this cosmic journey. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the video on your screen for more mind-bending content. Until next time, keep gazing at the stars. This is Cosmic Inquiries, signing off.